in this uh, discussion we are going to discuss about uh, coverage driven verification okay so we we know that uh, in uh, current industry we are having so many verification methodologies so in our previous discussion we have seen uh, constraint random uh, verification right and uh, similarly this is an another uh, uh, sorry uh, methodology for verification coverage driven verification uh, before we'll start this discussion um, uh, we have to discuss about coverage right what is the use of coverage and uh, why we need coverage you know yeah coverage uh, we are going to discuss about the traditional verification methodology okay so traditional verification methodology uh, we have discussed uh, enough about this thing but still again we'll uh, recap all those things okay so traditional verification methodology uh, uh, we can perform the uh, traditional verification methodology at chip level at block level at system level right okay so the steps in this uh, traditional verification methodology is this is the flow diagram of uh, this uh, traditional verification methodology look at there uh, first uh, uh, we have discussed uh, 10 points right so if you look at that flow chart you will get that um, the clear cut uh, picture of uh, how the traditional verification methodology flows right so look at there uh, first what we are doing we are creating a test plan right then we are writing the test cases pertaining to the test plan right after that what's happening we have to say do the simulation that is nothing but front directed tests right so then what's happening uh, we are doing we are trying to write more number of uh, directed tests right again we are doing the same simulation run getting this one look at here we have uh, uh, run enough uh, test cases but still uh, we are uh, we are uh, searching uh, still for all the extra test cases we can add uh, here right so traditional verification methodology look at their problems with a TVM okay a verification effort starts with direct testing right first we are writing the directed test cases right here no need no need more manual effort to create direct test need more time to create a uh, very difficult to maintain these are all some problems right if you want to write a uh, manually all that all those test cases then uh, it's uh, very obvious that uh, it will going to elapse some more time right then second point look at that at this stage DUT is rapidly changing in both functionality and implementation For example, uh, already written directed test may not be useful. Uh, for example, uh, uh, look at there. Uh, suppose, suppose designer. For example, I am designing one RTL code. You are uh, verify. Okay, so uh, take some time to you how how I am implementing that RTL code. Then you can easily. Uh, writing the test cases okay so it's a time increasing process I think and mm, we we are human being we are not uh, bugs all the possible conditions some possible conditions we can mistake mistake that is the problems with the a V sorry TVM that is not the only traditional verification methodology okay. so that is not the only one problem we are having still they are mentioning look at there as a second point at this stage the DUT is rapidly changing in both functionality and implementation now you getting this point because uh, look at there uh, first the design engineer uh, uh, I mean RTL engineer they will uh, release the first version of code okay so in that first version of code they will implement only some number of features okay they will mention all the features right 
okay uh, but in the case of second version they will add some more feature or they may fixed they may fixed some bugs due to that um, there may be some changes in their implementation style right right okay so uh, you the test cases you have used